What's up, dudes and dudettes and whoever else might be watching? Cole Black on the scene when it happened. Why was he there? Jasper Prado murdered just hours before the explosion. Was he involved somehow? Jared Porter. Uh, question by police in part Prado's case. What does he know? Roger Howard. Surely when Stoop Solo will need will need hard evidence for moving against him. Alrighty. Welcome Sorry, back to Get Even. Found. Jared Porter was found dead in his cell this morning. Yep. Cellmate found out that Jared was an informer and killed him. Don't hesitate to give me a call if you require any more details of this unfortunate event. Well, sucks to suck. I don't know if I read this one. Cole Black was investigating Grace Ramsey's kidnapping, claims he tried to solve this thing. Someone followed, perhaps he wanted to fail. History of addiction, prescription, opiates, blah blah blah, kidnapping. To what extent? So bad shit. Bad shit. Nothing new. Alright. <clears throat> so I don't know how far along we were this game. I was thinking that we were probably not as far. Originally I was thinking like we probably weren't that far, but just all of a sudden, I don't know. I feel like we probably are fairly far along. What I thought and originally were. What's up, my dude? How did you not know? All the time you were there. How did you not realize? You did this, didn't you? Might have. I don't know. I black out a lot. A lot of pent up emotions. Oh, <laughs> we're back here. Look, honey. I thought the chips were for just ending that last song. Three hours. She will not stop. Please, can you take her? Her face. I need to lie down for a moment. Well, sure, but I thought we agreed to do this together. I just, just need to lie down. Yeah, just, just <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> okay. Master of Science, Robert Ramsey. Oh, so this is the guy. The guy named Robert. Ramsey? 13 children and a teacher died in an accident. 13 children and a teacher died in a horrible accident. Oh, I got this. M40 motorway near Warwick. It was just after midnight on the 18th of November when a minibus crashed into a maintenance vehicle. Eleanor Gray, 35, was a teacher who was driving the bus transporting 15 children home to Worcester from a school trip to London. She fell asleep at the wheel before the minibus struck a uh, 12.5-ton Bedford motorway maintenance lorry and the later exploded. Continue reading on page two. All right, so, yeah, that Eleanor, I'm pretty sure, is that woman, the wife here, that we've been seeing. Oh, there's the kid. There's the whiskey. Can you bring me her bottle, love? I think it's in the kitchen. I've got a PhD in neuroscience. I think I can manage it. We're getting upsetting. Ooh, I thought I'd guess a cake. <clears throat> Congratulations, Rob. It seems like only yesterday we were making up excuses not to finish our science degrees and go to India instead. And look at you now, a serious scientist, a husband, and a father. Give Lenore a big, huge, uh, big hug for um, me. All the best for you two and to Grace. As you know, I'm not really experienced in buying stuff for children, but I hope this angry looking bear won't be too terrifying for her. Take care, James. I didn't, okay, if it's angry looking. <clears throat> well, <laughs> I just assumed the floor would appear wherever I went, but I guess not. <laughs> Alright, so. The bottle. Anyone who says they slept like a baby clearly never had one. Ugh. So relatable. Am I right, fellas? Hi, Mum. Lenore and I were wondering if you wanted... What? It's me. Your son. Calm down, Mum. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yes, that's right. Are you okay? <sighs> right. Um... No, no. No, it's fine. It's fine. So, Lenore and I were wondering. Okay. So is that like his mom was starting to get, like, Alzheimer's or some shit? I, I, I'm gonna assume 
Look, don't fall off again. Yeah, I assume that's oh, what I'm saying. Oh, look, she's trying to talk to you. Adult brains, I understand. But this, this is just incessant, incoherent garbling. What on earth is she doing? Uh, trying to communicate, I'm assuming. Probably insulting you. Take it defensively if I were you. Um... There's a lot of, uh, area to cover here. Does that mean I should probably go to that one? Will they catch me if I walk? They will not. Alright, so by default I do have to go this way. So the doctor said that mum can't distinguish between the past and the present. It's all jumbled together somehow. How can a person forget so much? Why can't they help her remember? Terrible thing. I guess I could interact with this. Oh, there we go. Alright, is that all I'm supposed to do, I'm going to assume? If I go back, does that mean something else has been unlocked? Oh, what I wouldn't give for one second alone with my thoughts. One goddamn second. Okay, oh. She wanted to know why I wasn't in school. The next, she was crying and complaining about her son, who never comes to visit. You were there every day. Whether she remembered or not, you were there for her. How can a person just forget? I should have helped her remember somehow. I should have found a way. You did everything you could. She loved you very much. Remember that, at least. Maybe this guy's red? I don't know, maybe it's more obvious so I've been reading the documents. But I just want to say, I think the whole, like, because Outlast 2 did the same bullshit, answering a lot of things through text and Mom, shit like that. Mom, why is Daddy so sad? Oh. He's worried about your gran, my love. He's just worried, that's all. That looks like the woman that we tried to save with the bomb. I didn't do a very good job with. So maybe, uh, that wouldn't make sense unless I changed my name. I was going to say, maybe I'm the dad. But he doesn't really sound like the dad. I mean, he doesn't really sound like the main character. So. Rose Atkins. I really don't see why you hired this one. She doesn't ever seem to know where you are. She won't put you on the phone. She's a good assistant, Lenore. Huge potential. Give her time. I'm sure you'll walk to her. Just her face. Keep an eye on her, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Both their faces, he's like, hmm. She's like, black. Alright, you don't trust her. Uh, you said you promised Rose. to help with her science homework. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm just... C can you help her tonight? You might. Fine. I've got this presentation first thing in the morning. I really feel like I'm on the verge of something here. This would mean so much for us, for the family. You understand, don't you? <sighs> okay. I bet Rose was his project he was working on. Let's see. Fuck. When's Dad coming home? God knows, my love. Maybe we should ask Rose Atkins Apparently when he'll be home. Apparently resting bitch face just runs Maybe in the family. Maybe she'll set up an appointment for us. Hmm? You don't like her. I don't trust her. You don't trust her? Gratuitous amount of butt shots. You don't trust Dad. Can it be both? Dad seems kind of like an asshole. Robert, listen. Oh, I don't here we go. care. You have Grace, and because of that, you have Lenore. 
but you also have me. And I'm not going anywhere. It won't be long before Grace is old enough to leave home. Until then, there's you Told and you. me and the work. For now, that's all that matters. A serious thinking face. I love you. I knew it. I knew it. I called it. And now I guess we're going somewhere. Bear trap. Oh, we're going back to the mental institution. Bear trap. Those memories. That yours. hair? Who those memories belong to is entirely irrelevant. They do not contain the answers we're looking for. Trust me. Now is not the time to start thinking, Black. Nobody cares about whatever theories you may have dreamed up in that little brain of yours. Now is the time to do as I say. Wow, okay. Now is the time to proceed. Fuck you. Yeah, see, that doesn't sound like the dad, so this has to be somebody else. So, Richard, or whatever his name was, Remy, was having an affair with Rose, and he had a daughter. The daughter looks like the girl at the beginning with the bomb strapped to her chest. Time to make sense of this mansion Rose's text referred to. I believe she meant Bertarelli Hall. Ring any bells? Should it? The Pandora will let us know either way. I've left a photo out especially. Focus on it and let's see what happens. So same thing as always, just kind of, kind of, extreme caution, blah, blah, blah. So these must be like memories or something. Do you like the new safe house? Cozy little place, isn't it? Perfect for the task. I'm sure our mutual friend would approve. Anyway, make yourself at home, begin your preparations. If you need anything, you let me know personally and I will take care of it. You have three weeks and no excuses. Don't disappoint me. Hmm. Wonder who that's for. What was Jasper Prada doing in the building that just a couple days before Grace's kidnapping? Um, yeah, it is Grace. Okay. Did someone report a group of armed mercenaries using a nearby area for target practice? Was it some kind of hideout? All right, so Grace is definitely then the person that we are... Where the fuck are you, Jasper? Eric just called and says he hasn't heard from you since yesterday. If I find out you're on another bender the day before the job, so help me, God. Do you have any idea how important tomorrow is? I need you on your A-game, Jasper. So if Eric tells me they found you sucking on a hash pipe again, I will chop your balls off with a pair of rusty fucking hedge clippers. Call hmm. me. Hmm. Well, something just happened. Real, I'm pro. Me and my boys. We've been in a fucking war together. We do this quick and clean. Ah, uh, boys, nobody's getting killed. Yeah, we're not gonna kill anybody. Alright, cool. So, I'm assuming... That must see up in that door unlocking. Alright, we're gonna go in like stealthy boys again. How deeply intriguing, Mr. Black. It seems you do have some memory of this place. Which means... What, exactly? I wouldn't want to speculate at this point. I'm sure the, the implications will become clear. So, what am I looking for here? Rose? Jasper? Perhaps even both? Let's just see what we can find out, shall we? Okay. Well, this place seems in, uh, intriguing. Prints identified. Rose Atkins and Jasper Prado. Okay. I knew they'd be sending their inside man, but I never knew he was. Oh, what a gorgeous. How you doing, sweetheart? I'm Jasper, and I'm very pleased to meet you. You can cut the flattery, Mr. Prado. I know who you are. Our employer has filled me in. Filled you in, lucky bastard. I'm sorry. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. I get it. You're a professional type. I suppose you want to see the setup. Cross the eyes, start the T's. All that shit. Yes, Mr. Prado. Please, show me round. Their first meeting. That's a start. Get as much information as oh, you can, Mr. Somebody's Black. Somebody's here. Be meticulous. Understood. Okay, so somebody's here. 
Someone tried to access my data again. Are you going to deal with that or not? It's my calls are. It's my calls there will be consequences. I think I just got drunk and passed out on the sofa. For him to not be looking like that. Alrighty. Um. Guess I'm gonna have to make it across there while he's not looking. Alright. I'm a stealthy boy. Stealthy Boy 2.0. Yeah, I'm a stealthy boy. Upstairs, maybe? I don't know. I'm this close to just pressing send and letting all the world know about your odd jobs. Not to put you away from her most of your life. Don't push me. I. Alright, I don't think anybody's following me. So I think I did well somehow. Oh, crap. There's a safe spot. So this is where I'm supposed to go. What's down here, then? What are you. Oh, okay, it's a teleportation area. What about over here? There's somebody there. Oh. 40 minute works fine, okay. So you guys see that. Let's look at these documentations, I guess. My phone's vibrating. Must be her jacket. DNA found. Rose Atkins. Yeah. What? Get your hand down a bit, would you? Christ. What? I'm calm. I'm perfectly calm. You're on edge. I can feel it in me bones. I didn't get where I am today without knowing when a fella's on edge. You're so on edge, you're like a fucking razor. That doesn't even make sense. Fuck you. Why is this so important to you anyway? I'm invested. That's all. Ah, uh, you've been promised something. That's none of your business. Okay, fair enough. By the way, can I just point out, I really like... What did I say? Jeez, say. Alright. I really like how uh, the guard saw me, yelled, but then they're like, well, fuck it, I'm not going to bother chasing him. He's too far away now. It's like me as a guard. Maybe something here that I'm supposed to be videotaping or collecting. Fancy old streak. Alright, so I got that. That's gotta go something. Fingerprint found. One matching profile. Thomas Hill. Okay. So I think that's... I'm not saying that I can collect something else. I think that's pretty much all I can do in here without alerting that guy. So, all right, time to see what's this way. What the fuck? Eh. What the fuck was that even? What the fuck are you guys doing? Stop making out! Oh, are you kidding me? Alright, I made it. What is this guy doing? Holy shit. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he's probably gonna turn right around. Yep, he sure is. Well, I gotta run. Don't fire. Have bad accuracy. These terrible shots. That's not where I go. Oh, let me think about this for a bit. Let me think about this for a bit. That door is where I need to go, so what else is there? Oh. Marvin Hart speaking. Jared. Yeah? Is that you? Yeah, go on. And you want something for me? Yeah. Hello? I'm just trying to get out of here. 
guess I'm going this way now. What's up, my dudes? Trying not to kill anybody. Alright, so I'm assuming there's something in here I need. Here we go. Oh, fuck. There's a guy right there. It's back. Unknown contact. Fire at will. I had to do it. Fingerprints identified. Jasper Prado. Okay. No, no, listen, just hear me out. Our employer has given me very specific orders not to let you near any explosives. For fuck's sake, well, you guys have got to trust me. I know my way around the fucking bomb. Not what I heard, Mr. Prado. Oh, fuck you. Fuck the lot of you. Okay. Our typical day schedule, that's creepy. Robert's day schedule. It's Lenore. So was her death set up? Perhaps? Okay. Oh, I'm terrified of this group. Okay, so Rose was using him to get close to his family for some reason? Interesting. Oh. Your current location matches coordinates from which FDG servers were remotely accessed. There should be an open terminal nearby. This could give you the information we're looking for. Okay, so there's just a lot of betrayal going on. Partial security ID. Fingerprints identified. Rose Atkins. Okay, so we contact Ramos. We say, give us the memory gizmo or your girl gets it. That's it. That's it. What if he says no? He won't. You said he don't much care for his family. What if he just... He won't. Okay. Shit. I'm still missing some data. So I'm missing something. Neutralize. Well, the less I know about that, the better, I suppose. As long as it doesn't change anything. I'd better be able to trust you, Atkins. Okay. What? You can attach machine guns to this thing? Oh, that's freaking dope. Fingerprints identified. Jasper Prado. Alcohol, Mr. Prado. I thought you said you were a professional. Oh, hey, now, Missy. It's not for me. The boss man has sent some of his own men. It's back on it. It's for those boys. Happy team is a product of all. No? And a drunk team is a dead one. Robert won't take this lying down. And he has resources of his own. You'll need to be alert. Okay. Okay, I get it. It's off the menu, right? Man, he seems like a difficult guy to work with. Ramsey's bedroom stairs. They really planned this out. What do they have against Ramsey? What the heck is going on there? Security ID complete. Rose Atkins login now available. Ah, thank God. Rose I pick the best man for the job. Brave not to. In and out, so we know that it's done. Then once we've got her. We'll just sit tight until the payment arrives. I'm not so sure if it will be that simple. Paranoid. There's multiple alarm systems. See 
CCTV. Listen, darling, it's a kidnapping, not rocket surgery. To be honest, I've lost count of how many snatches I've done. All you need to worry your pretty little head about is that the info you've given us is legit. You get me? I assure you my info is legit, Mr. Prado. It's what you're going to do with it that worries me. Okay, so, booking it. Who's there? Stop messing up, intruder! Engage him! <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I think I know where to go with this info. Nobody had to die. I alerted some people, but I figure by now it doesn't really matter. So we should be good okay, now. Okay, let's try this out. Ah, the ID works. Am I the dad? Just going by a different name? What? A violin. Okay. Yeah, it looks like, uh... room. From Hannah, the best of UK.com. What's that, bitch? I read the short story sent me on Wednesday. Zombie teachers versus vampire kids. Funny shit, Grace. I'm a number one fan. Now when can we get drunk and have another movie marathon day? Cool. Oh. Nice. Oh, this is a lot. Can a hypnosis be useful during interrogations? Is this saying? Yeah, interrogations. Hey, Hannah, it's Grace. Uh, I'm only home for another few days now, so let's arrange something soon. Oh, and uh, make sure you check out that link I sent you. You'll love it. Anyway, um, call me back. Bye. Okay. I wonder what that link was. We might never know. It's going to truly be the biggest twist in this uh, story. The, the one thing that's going to make us wonder, what, uh, what was it? We need a sequel. Dad? Wait. Who are you? I'm not the one that abducted her, am I? Okay. So I'm gonna assume that I was possibly the mercenary that kidnapped her. And one of the mercenaries that kidnapped her. So this guy must work for some sort of Lenore, important company, and that's why Rose. Robert, she's gone. Okay, so maybe the dad worked for some sort of group, like company that they is, wanted needed I'll info for. Her. I promise. You did this, didn't you? What? How could you even say that? Your obsessions, Robert. With work, with your technology, with Rose. It's all led us here. With Rose? 
Lenore, I have don't. no... Just... Don't. Hello? Sorry to call you here, Rob. You weren't answering your mobile. I can't talk right now. I'll speak to you later. Is everything okay? She's gone. Who's gone? Lenore? I have to go. Okay. Guess back to the insane asylum we go. I understand now. That girl, Grace. That was the girl from the explosion. The girl with the bomb was Grace Ramsey. Yes, Mr. Black. The girl you failed to save. And you knew. You put me through all of this to find information that you could have just told me. Or was that not part of my fucking treatment? No, Mr. Black, I couldn't tell you. I needed you to remember. I needed you to understand who she was. I needed you to say her name. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. Black. For Grace. She was taken, kidnapped, held to ransom for Ramsey's memory tech. Your memory tech. It's you, isn't it? You're Robert Ramsey. Yes. I'm Robert Ramsey. I freaking knew it. And Grace. My Grace was abducted for a ransom demand I never received. Oh, no, I don't know what to say, Robert. I'm just so, so... Save your pity. Save your emotions. I do not need them. All I need to know is who Rose and Jasper were working for. Who was behind it, Mr. Black? I don't know. But isn't it obvious? If I had to make a guess... Then I... you would be making assumptions. We deal with facts here, Mr. Black. Hard evidence. Empirical data. I have my suspicions, yes. But we have come too far to throw it all away on guesswork. We must continue with your treatment. Treatment? There never was any treatment, there was there? I'm not here through choice, am I? Although your memory is damaged, I see your intuition is not. No, Mr. Black, this is not a hospital, but a prison. And unless you proceed, you will find me to be a less than hospitable warden. I am your lock. I am your key. I can be your enemy, or I can be your salvation, but I will have my answers. Now, proceed. Okay. Well, I think it's definitely safe to say the plot is coming together. Things are starting to make sense. Uh, holy crap. Alright, so what is... Okay, so Mr. Black is us, and we tried saving the girl. So what role do we have in this? Are we just somebody who was sent in to try to help? I don't quite get it. Um, I feel like that we're getting pretty close to an ending. So maybe there will only be another episode or two left. I don't know. But anyways, I hope I'll be seeing you guys in those next couple episodes or whatever it just happens to be. As always, have a good one. Goodbye!